You'll find out in a hurry. It's there. It offsets some so bad. Once in a while, you'll find one that really doesn't seem like it matters, but when you start putting the crank in, if you're that far along, if you go torque the crank down, it'll lock it up just immediately. Oh, yeah. Hey, don't go there. We got the thing running. Yeah, well, I'm going to edit, so. Oh, okay. Just don't forget to do that. Yeah. Well, if you guys haven't figured it out already, we're getting the line board done on the block. So we've got our main caps put into the block right now, and then Roger's got all the cool tools and machinery, and it's the first time for me, it might be for a lot of you too, I've never actually seen this done before. Um, and it's exciting to kind of see how all these intricate parts of building an engine come together, because as you saw, you know, like your main caps relative to the block could now have been shaved down a little bit, we might have a little bit of a football shape going on. We want to make sure that this opening is completely circular and gives a smooth ride for the crank sitting in there. So and even the right diameter, how about that? Diameter is a big part too, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ninety foot pounds for our final torque. So we gotta cut a little bit more down off of cap number five. through three different kinds of stones on this one just like with the yeah. cylinders no well it's these are very fine stones anyway so it, it leaves a good surface for them cool and we're not you know we're not taking out a massive amount of material either so right like you are when you're doing a cylinder hmm. getting all artsy over here on you Andrew. there you go <laughs> Two and three. Uh, 
One, two, and three. You gotta just take more material out of them. Okay. And we'll cut the caps once again. Just clean these caps off and so in case you guys are curious about what exactly we're doing, it's more specifically when Roger takes the caps over to the cutter, he's cutting off microscopic amounts of metal, just thousands of an inch, even half a thousandth of an inch off this surface right here, which ultimately once we get it put back in on the engine, once this comes down a little bit more, it closes out that clearance and it brings in the diameter of that opening. So this way we have consistent diameter openings on all of the main caps. So this way that we have even pressure on all of our bearings on the crank and this way everything is nicely clearanced. Okay, we cut the caps back down a little bit more, reinstalling them and now we can go through, re-gauge them and then continue the line. Max and minimum. I just want to make sure where I'm at in that range. Each one of those lines would be a half a thousand. Half a thousand. Yeah. I think we're going to quit before we get into trouble. Friday, line hone is complete on our 440. Going to pull up our main caps and then this can come out, get a final wash on, and then we'll go over there, get our crank actually balanced up against the rods and the pistons, and then we can start assembling this thing. And the real excitement really, really begins. So stay tuned for all more of the fun. All right, block, caps, and some hardware into the chemical wash. We'll get this thing washed up. Looking like a nice smoked pig inside of there. Just mm, yummy. Now we can go ahead and get our crank balance. Oh boy, Commander in Chief is in the house. Fresh out the tank, nice and hot. Washed her off, we'll pull it out. All right, now that it's out of the chemical wash, we'll go through and hit it with some brushes and get the final degreasing on everything and be really meticulous. Clean it up, spray it down, clean it up, literally rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Make this thing pristine, perfectly clean so that our 440 queen will be pleased. Andrew says hi, Roger. Andrew, it's good for me. It's okay, Mark.
Alrighty, she's blown out. Now I can mask this thing off and we can get some paint on it. Babe, what are you doing? You excited? Yeah. This is a big moment right here. Your engine is on the stand, it is completely machined. All the work is done to it to now rebuild it. <laughs> it's awesome. I know you've been excited for this moment. Hmm, heck yeah. This is Finelli in the booth. Alex has painted this thing to a pristine perfection of Mopar amazingness. So we're gonna let this sit for a minute and cure up. Then we'll pull off the masking tape and show you guys how freaking cool it looks. Gonna buzz a little bit of clear on the block just to give it a little extra protection. Hitting it with a gray scuff pad right now and get a little mechanical adhesion. And then we'll get this thing You ever heard of TikTok? Yeah. You know you're TikTok famous? Well, I have no idea. Well, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing. <laughs> oh, okay. the, the latest video I got of you on there has 787,000 views on it. Holy shit, there, send the money. Yeah, there's uh, 
It's just it's just a simple video of you right here just torquing the torque plate. Uh, uh -huh. and there's people all over the world commenting about how you got all these skills and they wish they knew what you how, how to do what you do and young guys take note of what this guy's teaching me and I'm like, damn right. Don't blink or you're gonna miss about three steps. <laughs> yeah. Actually someone even recognized you from the Mormon meteor. Oh really? Yeah, they were like, hey, he's the guy that built the engine for the Mormon meteor. Like, yeah, that's him, alright. <laughs> Pretty cool. I bet. Yeah. Goes to show everybody's wrong. You can teach an old dog new tricks. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I forget if I've captured this or not, but uh, Roger converted this machine from an old original manual to an actual digital enhanced bouncing machine. So this is really cool. He totally adjusted it now, so you've got all the digital readouts. Let's go ahead and get our crank balance. So catch that in our next episode. Thanks for watching along. <laughs>